I don't know how to come across this video. I don't know how I'm going to start about this video. I don't know what I'm about to do for real in this video other than talk about other than talk about like what I've been going through the last few weeks. So here we go. <clears throat> Subscribe to the channel if you need to turn on notifications, you feel me? But we on the road to a Philly Willy. You feel me? Almost at 600. You feel me, dog? You know? Almost at 600. Subscribe to the channel, dog. Here we go. I reinstalled social media. I reinstalled, um, I think. No, I reinstalled Instagram. I reinstalled Snap. But I deleted Snap right away. I had my Twitter up for like a few seconds. And then I re-deleted Twitter. I don't really be on Twitter. There's nothing for me on Twitter. I was on TikTok. Right. But um I don't really be on TikTok like that because like it be it, it's it's stupid, bro. Like TikTok is so stupid. Or is it the for me page on my TikTok is stupid. But anyways, bro, I've been I've been growing and evolving. You feel me? I honestly don't know which channel I'm gonna post this on. Rather it be my poetry channel or my main channel. You feel me? So bear with me, dog. But what I mean by when I reinstalled social media, I was just trying to see like what's going on, like what's been going on around me. I haven't really been focused mentally on what's been going on around me. I've just been focusing on myself, you know, trying to worry about myself, trying to, you know, mentally and, and physically better myself. It, it's so it's so much that I learned just being by myself and not being on social media that when I reinstalled it, it, it kind of blindsided me how much was going on around me. You feel me? And I think that's why a lot more people should delete social media because it is a huge distraction. I'm not going to lie to you. Social media is a huge distraction. One thing that I've noticed about myself is I'm obsessed. Yeah, I'm, I'm obsessed with something. I'm not gonna get too far in it, into it. If you know me, you know my my whatever it is. It's no, it's no longer a situation. It's too old for it to be a situation. But I, I I have noticed that I am obsessed. I can't get over it. No matter how hard I tried, no matter what I did, no matter how I tried to do it, I can't get over it, bro. And the thing is, when you when you know something about you. You know something about yourself as a man as a man oh wait hold on i gotta say it like this as a man in a relationship if y'all break up and he, the dude really liked you and y'all just broke up bro the nigga gonna be obsessed my boy it's hard to get over that i'm over here thinking that everything like about me and what i've gone through i've noticed that i've evolved really or not really that i've evolved but i i know a, a lot more you feel me so with me not being on social media without scrolling without uh people posting a business and stuff i've noticed for myself that i've evolved so i noticed the person that i you know want to be with so badly has evolved you feel me that the person that you know I want to talk to and spend most of my days with has evolved. That person is no longer the same person, and like this has been on my chest for days too. This has been on my mind, like when I first really thought about it, because I know me, I'm learning new shit every day. Um, I've been finding uh, new things that I like. I've been trying to figure out my aesthetic for a little bit, and there's just so much. It, it's so much that is a part of me now that probably six months ago just wasn't and i can say the same for that person there's so much that that person you feel me figured out that they like figured out that they want to do and, and they do so the person i fell in love with bro isn't the same person anymore you feel me and that's gonna hurt a lot of people but that's reality that, that that's tough bro that, that it hurt it hurt me it hurt me I'm over here. I'm over here thinking like, yeah, I can, I can evolve. I can keep. I can continue to change for myself. I can co continue to have a better outlook on life. Continue to have a more open outlook on life. But the thing is, with also having a more open outlook on life, you see a whole bunch of di uh, situations that in the past you wouldn't have seen them way more different. So me, I don't get mad anymore. Um, getting mad is a is a waste of time and a waste of 
negative energy when I can use that energy into what I want to do, which really is when I post a YouTube video, I want that video to be as good as possible, as great as possible for whatever time period that I post in it. That, that's one thing about me that I just don't do anymore. I don't get mad. I don't, you feel me? I don't argue. I don't fuss. You feel me? I just, just tough it out. And then again, I don't know. I don't know about to say I uh, tough it out or, or like I just make it through how I be doing it. Another thing I don't do, obviously, if you know me, you know I don't post my business. You feel me? Um, when I do talk to my my friends, though, when I do talk to them, I do let them know uh, a bunch of things. But I don't really, I don't really be posting that much. You feel me? When I did reinstall social media, I was posting like. I was posting like little stuff, like me, me being in a car and I'd be sun gazing, bro. I'd just be, I'd just be in a parking lot chilling with, with the sun. I wish I could be like in my backyard, but backyard not big enough. So I'd be going to parking lots, but like I just sit there and I throw the window down, bro. And bro, like just, just be in the sun, bro. I just be in the sun. I just do little stuff, bro. And and it's something that I like. I'm learning, I'm learning to like, well, I'm learning that I like different genres of music. And and that's one thing that I wasn't really too keen on because I have a, a specific group of rappers, you know, or artists that I listen to. Even though most of my favorite artists are dead, I expanded it. You feel me? So I'm listening to all these kinds of songs and I'm like, oh, these Jones kind of snap a little bit. These Jones kind of go a little hard. This is music I would have never given a chance uh, uh, years ago. And now it's like, dang, I like it. Now I'm trying to figure out, well, not figure out uh, what I don't like, but it's also a thing with with clothes that I'm doing now. So, of course, if you if you see me, you know me, you know I just I just wear hoodies. I wear hoodies in any type of climate, in any type of weather, no matter what it be. I don't really show my arms like that. I don't really I don't really just show I don't show my body like that. If you know me, you know I wear a hoodie. And that's it, it's cool and all. It's cool. It's cool, but there's other styles of clothing that I'm like I'm really digging, bro. It's like but it's it's not the fact that I can't wear it. It's the fact, like, <clears throat> I'd be trying to see, like, if I could pull it off. You feel me? So, like, um, for for instance, I don't wear too many other shoes other than Jordans when I go out. So, when I'm out in public, for the most part, or if I'm not at work, something like that, I will go out and I just wear some Jordans. But there's other shoe brands, so like, like Vans. You feel me? Even though I have, like, one of the ugliest pair of Vans in the world. But, like, you feel me? I can go out and I can wear Vans. Uh, if I found some cool Nikes that I could wear that's not Air Force Ones, I'd probably wear them, too. Like, there's a bunch of different stuff in terms of clothing with branding and stuff of all that all that nature. Like, I've just, I've just been into it. I've been looking. Me, as of right now, I've been into into cars a lot more as well i've just i've just been evolving like fool like this stuff this is stuff i wouldn't even care about like if you were to ask me a few weeks ago about mm, a hellcat a charger any type of any type of charger anything a part of that model or that line sedans I, I i wouldn't be able to give you you know too much of an answer if you were to ask me now like fool i know the horsepower i know what the gas uh, per mile, you feel me? I know how long you can go, how them tires be. You feel me, dog? Like, I've just evolved. And this is from, I guess, self-meditation or, or whatever. You know, like, I'm one of the odd, the odd people out. You feel me, bro? I'm one of, I'm one of those, bro. I'm one of, the, I'm one of the people that just don't do what everybody else is doing. A lot of people that I know, they smoke. They either smoke or they drink or they do both. But a lot of them smoke. I don't do none of that. And like, I would say like, oh, or no, somebody would be like, oh, he's lying, he's capping for the camera. Fool, I don't smoke, bro. That shit is stupid. Especially the excuse that people have behind it. People say they smoke because they're stressed out. And that's so dumb. And that's so dumb. If you don't pop yourself an aspirin in the night, cool, and go to sleep, bro, like, like, 
like food. It, it like the the stress won't leave. Like just because you smoke, you only feeling like that for what an hour or so. You'll be at your high, and somebody will probably ruin your high. And then what? You gonna smoke again? You feel me, dog? Like that's the that's the shit. I don't really get about people. I don't really understand about people. But I never, I didn't, I didn't know how to come across this video in terms of how I've evolved and how I've learned to cope with things and things that I begin to like or things that I do like now that I wouldn't even consider uh, back in the day. And um, in a way, in a way, it kind of does hurt when, uh, when I look at it on a deeper level because with me, I overthink everything. So um, when I think about this type of stuff, I think about certain situations I've been in in life and how they could have easily been handled way differently if I had just been more open to the thought. But like, I guess it. I guess it's a learning. It's a learning lesson. You feel me? It's all. A, it's all a part of growing up. But like, yeah, bro. I may post this. I may post this, y'all, on the main channel and the poetry channel. You feel me? But it's gonna come out like on the poetry channel. It's gonna come out on a Friday, or I'm gonna probably just do the scheduled video for the poetry channel anyway. But that's just what it is. That's just what it's been. You feel me? I got some juice for reactions coming out. You feel me, dog? So stay on the looks for that today. With all that being said, man, some videos up on the screen. Until next time, bro.